This is a very serious song. <clears throat> Super serious. It uh, basically is a, uh, it's based on a folk tale that comes to us from a, a book written during the time of the Black Plague. 14th century Italy was not a good place to be a city dweller. <clears throat> Those who could afford it managed to get themselves out of the plague-ridden cities and off to the as yet untouched farms. They would pull themselves up in some nice villa somewhere and amuse themselves as best they could. And there's this wonderful book called The Decameron, which looks very literary and it makes you look really smart when you're reading it on the bus. <laughs> but it is fundamentally a hundred dirty short stories from the 14th century. Because <laughs> they had to amuse themselves somehow, so they told each other stories. Now my favorite of those stories concerns Lydia, who is a young bride, and her not-so-swift husband, Ambrulio, and their really handsome, really wicked, uh, kind of clever in a sassy way, um, servant, Pyrrhus. But uh, since this is a very serious song about the Black Plague, Black Plague, we came up with a brand new introduction, so hopefully you'll help us with this. And we'll never have boils, boils, bubos in our under arms, because we rely on magic charms, and we hide out on the farms, let me tell you a story, story, just for catch you and me, about a fool, a fool, a fool, and a smart man in a tree. They down the mud on a Take a stroll upon the arm of Dawn Ambrulio, her newlywed lord. Their serving man was Pyrrhus, that day his chance befell, and though he was the husband's man, he longed to be her man as well. So sweetly said Madonna with the twinkle in her eye, I see a tree hung low with fruit, oh, the highest one is ripe. The Dawn looked sagely upward, he nodded his assent. So the servant stripped his shirt and hose and up the tree went. Up into the pear tree was handsome Pyrrhus sent. And there he thought of a clever plan, and this is how it went. Oh, there he thought of a clever plan, and this is how it went. Tree was lost, 
most timber. <laughs> and Ambrulio never guessed the game. But still the game went far and wide and garnered him a certain fame. Lydia was happy with this pleasant stroke of luck and always called upon her purist when she had some fruit to pluck. And off it did the pear tree with handsome percent. From there he thought of a clear plan.